Tackle junkies, what's going on fellas? Today we're going to go over a little bit of reel maintenance that will keep your reels performing throughout the season until you get the time during the winter to completely break them down. Stay tuned. All right guys, what I'm about to show you today is what I do every two or three months during the season. Now, if you guys have been with the channel for a while, you know that I have some pretty advanced real cleaning videos, which I do suggest you guys do that at least once a year, usually during the off season is when you wanna do that. But like I said, these tips that I'm going to show you today, this is something you can do throughout the season just to keep your reel performing you know, the way it should be until you get the time, like I said, to tear it down and lube it up you know, correctly. But um, we're going to be doing this today on the Akuma SX reel. And let's go from start to finish here, what you gotta do. Of course, I keep reel covers on my reels and rod covers, of course, as well. Just cut your lure off will be the first thing that you need to do. Get the cutters here. All right, set that aside. Wind your line up on your reel here. Now we're going to be taking the spool out, so you do want to tape that line to the spool there, the way it doesn't unravel when you take it out. It's going to get a piece of scotch tape here. I do apologize if you guys hear the lawnmowers in the background. It does seem like every time I make a video out here in the garage, everyone thinks it's time to cut grass. But uh, put a piece of tape on there, like so. And that'll keep the line from unwinding when you take the spool out. Take the reel off the rod. This is a good time to clean your guides as well. Usually I do that, again, a few times a season as well. You know, if it's a pretty stained and muddy water, a lot of stuff usually on the surface, it'll gunk those guides up. That stuff will dry and get hard. It could fray your line. So I do uh, clean my guides pretty often as well. I right, got the reel off the rod there. Go ahead and set the rod aside. Now, Okay, here's the reel right here. Kuma SX, what we're working on. And this will work for basically any bait casting reel. If you guys check out my, like I said, my reel cleaning videos, which I'll link down below. I mean, all reels these days are pretty much the same. Those videos will walk you through pretty much any reel that you need to clean. All right, first things first, pop the side cover off here. Now on the Akumas here, you just push it down. It'll pop right off. Some will have a pin that you'll have to pull, maybe unscrew. But like I said, this one here, you just push it down, pop it off. Pull the spool out here. Okay. And one of the first things that I like to do is clean up around the line guide. Okay, if you guys can see all that, a lot of gunk in there from the water. So we're going to clean that up first. Now what I have here is just some warm water in this container. In my real cleaning videos, you guys see me use this a lot. It's got a little strainer in there. This is what I soak my parts in and normally I have the, so I got some around here. Now I got the real, the real cleaner in there to soak my parts. This stuff works really, really well. And we'll go over some of the stuff that I use to clean the reels as well here in a little bit. But again, I just got some warm water in here. I got the Ardent swabs that I like to use. And these, to be honest guys, these are just like little sponges that I guess you can, um, you see people use these like at the hospital to wet your mouth and all that. I bought like a huge ball pack of these on Amazon years ago. And this is what I use to like say clean the reels up, clean my rod guides and things like that. But I'll just soak it in water there, kind of squeeze out some of the water like so. I'll just clean up, like I said, around that line guide there. Get one of the ardent swabs as well. Get in the tighter spaces. clean inside that guide as well. These iron swabs work really, really well. Again, some type of synthetic fibers on there. It doesn't leave any like lint or anything like that behind. You can just clean out that, that guide there. Even the rod there that it rides on, I'll wipe that down as well because I will re-oil that. Again, guys, this is just a quick little 
deal you can do just to throughout the year, but definitely check out my in-depth videos of how to clean the entire reel. All right, now that I got the reel clean as far as the dirt goes, we're gonna start working on the actual maintenance portion of the video. Go ahead and start here with the side cover. Okay, you'll see the, the, uh, the race here or that ring, that's where the brake pads rub on. Okay, you also see that there is a bearing there and what you probably can't see is inside that bearing, inside the hole there, there's a little fiber washer that needs to be lubed as well. This is where we'll get another one of our iron swabs here. A little dab of the real clean. You can spray it. I choose just to take an iron swab here and just dip it in the bottle. You don't need much. Okay. get your side plate here wipe that ring so ain't too bad you can see just a little bit of black on there again I do this pretty often keep everything running nice and smooth so get a little towel let's wipe that again make sure it's nice and dry okay so we got that all nice and clean there, all right? Now, for the bearing, take one drop of oil. Now I use, you guys know I love the hot sauce, big fan of that. Um, the Ardent, use that stuff too, it's pretty good. I use, this is Lucas oil, this works really well as well. One drop of oil is all you need in that hole there to lube that washer. One drop there, okay, and then one drop on the bearing itself. That's all that needs, okay? Then what I'll do is get a, another Ardent swab, make sure it's clean, put some oil on the swab there, and then I'll take that and I'll run that along that ring inside there. Okay, so this side cover here is done. All right, this is my clean one, set that aside. Now we can go to the spool, okay? Bearing there on the spool, but we're also going to clean the shaft there. Again, get yourself Arden Swab. It's already got some cleaner on there, and we're just going to clean that shaft. Again, get your rag. that to the other side not too much on the other side there okay so those are clean I'll take the rag I'll wipe the spool itself I'll get your Arden swab What I'll do is take that and I'll wipe those brake pads. Get your rag. All right, now the pads are clean. All right, now to lube up the spool, again, we got one bearing here. One drop of oil is all you need. Okay. Then, again, put another drop of oil on the ardent swab here. I'll put just a dab of oil on those brakes. And then I'll get a little bit of grease, very small amount here on either end of the shaft. This is just Daiwa grease here. Like so, so I got some on my finger there and that's enough for the other side as well. Let's set that aside now. So your spool is done and your side cover is done as well. All right, now, got my frame again here. I'm going to wipe anywhere where the spool is going to be rubbing. So again, get your Arden swab. Just a little bit of water here. Okay, inside the frame here. Okay, then along the back side as well. 
All right, now that you have everything wiped down inside here, again, I'll get my oil, Arden swab, a little bit of oil on there, inside of the reel here, and I'll wipe again where that spool is going to meet the frame. Just a light coating there, and then a light coating here on the inside. So again, we just wiped this frame here, and then right here. All right, now we'll remove the tension knob, and this is what could be different from this reel to your reel. You'll notice the shaft is pretty short, okay? It does not go all the way through the reel, through the pinion gear to the underside of the tension knob. What we have here is really a little rod on the underside of this knob that will meet the spool shaft here, so when you tighten up your tension knob, it will apply pressure to the spool. Okay, like I said, on some reels, the shaft goes all the way through the reel, and you'll see it here once you take off the tension knob here. Again, in this case, we have a little bitty rod here. Now, you will have a bearing. Some will be a bushing, again, depending on the reel. Go ahead and lube up that bearing. Again, one drop is all you need, okay? And then, on the underside here, again, we got that rod there, like I said, that will meet the shaft. Again, I just want a little bitty dab of grease on that that rod there. Now you can go ahead and put your tension knob back on. Now if you do have like the traditional setup there with the tension knob and there's no rod here, your shaft goes all the way through, you'll have a little fiber washer on the inside of the cap, just like we had on the inside here of the side cover. That's what I was talking about earlier inside that hole. There's a little fiber washer there. That's what you'll typically have on the inside of your tension knob, a drop of oil and you're good to go. Go ahead and put your tension knob back on. Okay. A couple other things I like to lube. Get your oil. I'll lube behind the knobs here. One drop. And one drop. Work that in a little bit. All right, from there we're going to go to the worm gear. Now, the worm gear itself is going to ride on a couple bushings or a couple bearings. Now, if you see this little clip here, a couple ways to get to that bearing or that bushing, you can put a drop of oil here, okay? Or you can go on the inside here, okay? Now, don't oil the gear itself, but on the edge of the, the shaft, we'll just call it, put a drop of oil there. Then on this side, do the same thing, a drop of oil here. Again, I'm not oiling the main gear, I'm just oiling on the end of that shaft, which hopefully that oil can work its way to the bearing, again, just because we're not taking the reel completely apart as of right now. Okay, so that's what you do there. And then you have the line guide here. I like to put a drop of oil on either side of the guide there, as well as the housing for that worm gear. One, two. Okay. All right, now we can put our reel back together your spool in there, side cover, and you are good to go. Guys, with those few tips, you can keep your reels running nice and smooth the entire season. Definitely break them down at the end of the season. You can check those videos out down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the thumbs up. We will see you guys on the next one.